matters that we have three women who look at issues of inequality and marginalization in trade. We know that trade is not gender neutral. Diversity in leadership matters, not just in trade. I think it's absolutely fantastic that the three trade organizations in uh, Geneva, the UNCTAD International Trade Center and the WTO are being led by women. Beyond the symbolic significance, I think it matters that we have three women who look at issues of inequality and marginalization in trade and bring the marginalized populations to bring micro, medium and small enterprises, bring women into the mainstream of trade. It shows that we, women, are in the highest decision-making roles and this contributes to changing the narrative of how women are perceived and seen. Seeing other women succeed is an important step in tearing down gender barriers. But it is not only a signal. I am convinced that the new female leadership has implications for the outlook for global trade and trade policies. We know that trade is not gender neutral. It affects women and men differently. For instance, there are patterns that lead women to be employed in sectors with lower value addition, less technologies, less opportunities for learning. But with women leading the three trade organizations, a gender lens will certainly be more central in trade policy discussions. In addition, there are gender differences in how women and men lead and approach consensus building. For instance, women are more likely to ensure that negotiations actually happen at the table and not on the golf course. This ensures that the voices of women are heard. Women tend also to be more empathetic and socially conscious. This leads to prioritizing different issues and taking different perspectives. Women are also more future-oriented, possibly because we have not been part of past debates, nor are we nostalgic for a past that was not such a great place for women. But my hope is that being a woman in this position will soon, will soon no longer be newsworthy. Three women leading the three trade organizations is not just important symbolically, but it is transformational and it is historic. And it's a long time coming. This sends important signals on gender equity, especially given the underrepresentation of women in leadership positions. Diversity in leadership matters, not just in trade. By including diverse perspectives, approaches, and knowledge, and by including women in the decision-making processes, we can be better equipped to look at old problems with a new lens, identify new risks, devise new solutions, and find new partnerships. But the most important element is delivery and results. And I'm convinced that all three of us simply want to get down to the critical business at hand and work to rebuild multilateralism, build resilience, and work for all constituents all over the world. Well, I think there are two or three issues we need to look at uh, to boost recovery. Uh, the first is the health aspects of recovery. It's absolutely a top priority for me that we should look at how to make equitable and affordable access to vaccines, therapeutics, and di diagnostics uh, happen. Um, it's unconscionable that any countries or people should be waiting for any of these uh, medical products. And we know that until we tackle the health challenges, we'll not be able to really get a handle on the economic challenges and, and, and return to a sustainable growth path that will spell recovery from the pandemic. So that's a really important priority. Second is um, the issue of what can trade do to boost the economic recovery? How can we liberalize trade in certain sectors to make sure that you know, supply chains stay open and work and that countries can produce more and sell more? So what can trade uh, um, contribute to that? It's a priority for me that export restrictions and prohibitions that have been put by countries during this time of the pandemic uh, be, be dropped or minimized or phased out uh, very quickly so that we can have a freer flow of goods and intermediate inputs. So those are two top uh, priorities that I think we need to focus on 
to boost economic recovery. Quel que soit notre sexe, notre première responsabilité ensemble est de veiller à ce que nos institutions contribuent à faire du commerce un véritable outil de relance, en particulier pour les pays, les groupes et les secteurs qui ont payé le prix fort de la pandémie. Ma priorité est que tout ce que nous leur fournissons, comme analyse, données, soutien technique et intergouvernemental, leur permette d'orienter leur relance vers des secteurs et des stratégies plus inclusives et plus vertes. Le changement climatique est en effet la plus grande menace pour les générations actuelles et futures. Les pays doivent donc de toute urgence commencer à planifier et à mettre en œuvre des actions visant à adapter leur production et leur commerce aux effets impitoyables du changement climatique. Quelle meilleure méthode de production Quels nouveaux avantages comparatifs Quels investissements Quelle diversification de leurs économies Quelle intégration régionale et quelle chaîne de valeur cela implique-t-il J'ai le même souci d'équité par rapport à la révolution numérique. Comment les pays en développement peuvent-ils en tirer le meilleur bénéfice pour leur développement et en devenir des acteurs alors même que le numérique est devenu le moteur de l'économie Le Covid nous a d'ailleurs montré l'importance des infrastructures, des politiques et des compétences numériques. Nous avons besoin plus que jamais de la coopération, de l'expertise et de l'expérience de tous pour construire le chemin de la reprise, car nous savons tous que les pays sont loin d'être à l'égalité devant tous ces enjeux. My top priority to boost recovery can be encapsulated in two words, empowerment and equality. Empowerment by building MSME resilience through partnership, empowerment for recovery through pivoting towards greener trade. ITC will launch a new ambitious initiative to support MSMEs and green trade. We will work with MSMEs to help them to adopt more sustainable practices, pursue opportunities in the circular economy, and participate in greener supply chains. Empowerment through digital inclusion, by promoting the greater integration of MSMEs in the digital economy and facilitate digital access for all. Empowerment of women and youth. Our dedicated She Trades program will lead the way on women's economic empowerment, and we will continue to work with governments to build an ecosystem supportive of new and innovative jobs for youth. And secondly, equality. Ultimately, we want to make sure that no one is left behind as we seek paths for recovery and resilience against future shocks. COVID-19 has laid bare the depths of inequality still prevailing throughout the global economic system. We must choose to challenge the status quo. And as women, we will. Music